Hello, nieces and nephews. This is your Uncle Bill Doobie. Thanks for joining me for Shadowbox One. Stay tuned to the end for all sorts of information. Not only that, we're building the Shadowbox for our camera display, otherwise known as a display hood. I didn't remember that until the very end of this film, video, whatever it's called. This is my first attempt here, and my thinking hat. We'll try this one first, just to see. What I'll do is I'll just coat the inside with uh, cardboard, and then see how well this thing holds on. So if we go like that, right about there. And here's me measuring out precise measurements. As you can see I'm cutting here and then I'm going to go about the width of the screen because this will be up against the back. And the reason I'm using my B-roll camera for my main camera is we need my main camera. Right, that worked pretty well. And that actually holds on. We might have a winner right here. If we could just figure out a way. Oh, there we go. And it hangs into there. Now the question is, will it work? Will it work? Try number one. If we cover it with cardboard along through here, I need a pen and then that would block off the light there and then have something in the back. Okay, so something over here for the back. As we're going with really precise measurements here. Now we get our trusty knife and a cutting board. I prefer using a regular nylon cutting board over using one of those self healing cutting boards because I like the self-healing cutting boards. They look nice, but I don't think I'd want to cut them, especially not with a knife I'm going to use, which is this one. Ta-da! nice thing about having such a small office same thing that you love about it is the same thing you hate about it it's easy to get to everything but the problem is everything's all over the place there's our bottom let's see how well it fits in there what sort of modifications we're gonna have to make if any bottom you know I just thought also, I think I'm going to use hot glue instead of Elmer's glue, which is what I was going to use. But I think hot glue would be better because it would set faster. And I can control it. You can always take off more, but you can't put it back on easily. So this one fits back in. Not bad. There we go. And this little one's going to fit right there like that. Little fruit container is holding together well and 
holding everything together well. It's starting to flow. Let's see if we can sneak our gun down in there and get to the corners, which is where we want to do our work first. The Uncle Bill's being very careful. Not. It's so much fun to use. You can make spider webs with this stuff too, you know. That's pretty much it. We, we're all set to put the camera in there and wait for the hot glue to finish cooling off because it's getting all over me. That is the manufacture of our sunshade. And we'll see how well that works, although it's not very sunny today. And Uncle Bill thought this might be fun. This is the whole process in a little over 10 seconds, manufacturing our camera display hood. Here we are. There you have it, nieces and nephews. We have the shadow box on, but I can tell that I am recording. And now when I push my magic button, stop the camera. Yes, I can see the recording going on and off. The true test of this will be out bright sunlight. It's a pretty dull, dismal day for San Diego. Okay, nieces and nephews. Now we have our simulated sun, which is right here, and our box. You can see the box is blocking the sun. As I'm looking at you now, here's the sun, here's our box. Now let's watch what happens if we don't have the box. See how much harder it is to see? We can't even see that red dot. And I'm right next to it. Imagine if I'm five or ten feet away from it. There we have it. It works. Not only that, I figured out a way to get it on the tripod, even though it hangs out lower. Not all tripods will fit this box. That's why I'm gonna redesign it in Shadow Box 2. Coming to a theater near you soon. After we finished testing our Shadow Box, which I finally remembered is called a hood, I went on Amazon and searched. And here it is for $7.99, so I bought one. If it doesn't work, we'll have Shadowbox 2. Otherwise, I'll do a review of this one. Thanks for watching. Every day this side of the dirt is a great day. Go out and have some fun, stay COVID safe, and here's some more videos for you to watch.